Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite recipes, Hush Puppies. It's gluten free, lectin free, and it's actually corn free as well. The first thing you want to do is just get a small pot and fill it with enough oil for frying. I'm using a mix of avocado oil and extra virgin olive oil, but you can just use avocado oil if you want. And you're going to start warming that over medium high heat. You're going to get one pastured egg and crack it into a bowl, and then you're going to whisk it. And next you're going to add in half a cup of A2 milk. Then you're going to add in half a tablespoon of onion and I have grated the onion and minced it. Then add one tablespoon of chopped green onions and then you're going to whisk it all together. Next we're going to add in three quarters of a cup of a lectin free flour and so I am using Bob's Red Mill Paleo Baking Flour but you can use your own mix as well. Then I'm going to add a quarter cup of millet flour, two teaspoons of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. So you're going to give that a little toss and then we're going to mix it together. Okay, so you're going to make sure that it's mixed together in kind of a really thick batter, but not too thick, but not too runny either. So it should slowly fall off of the whisk. Okay, so now that the oil is hot, we're gonna start dropping in little spoonfuls of the batter into the hot oil. And so this is about a teaspoon. And after about 30 seconds, you'll notice that they're starting to puff up a little bit and brown at the bottom. And so we're gonna try to flip it over. And fry the other side. After about another 30 seconds, we're just gonna try to rotate the hush puppies to make sure that all the sides are fried. So I kind of move that to stand up a little bit, you know, and if you had a deep fryer, then you wouldn't really need to be doing this, but I don't really like to use a lot of oil. So I'm just gonna do it this way. And those are looking really good after about another 30 to 40 seconds. And so we're gonna use this slotted spatula, but you can use a slotted spoon and just transfer these to a plate that's um, lined with a paper towel. So the hush puppies are all fried up and they're ready to eat. And you can take a look inside of one of them and see that it has a really nice texture. Looks like you made it with cornmeal. And there you have it. It's the most delicious, lectin-free, gluten-free, corn-free hush puppies and they're so good. Enjoy.